So what is going on people and welcome to episode 13 of the Peterborough United career mode here on FIFA 23. I hope you are doing well and while you join me today out the back end of the January transfer window. That's shut now, we are firmly focused on the road to the end of the season. It has been a little while admittedly since I've played this save. We've got some money in the bank. Of course on deadline day we did lose Kwame Poku. Uh, I didn't realise he had a release clause in his contract. Watford activated that release clause and as such he is no longer with us. So uh, yeah, we're having to deal without him. But we have got Bukhari and Ajaboy, and I think they are certainly suitable replacements. If we have a look at what happened in the last episode, then we started with a 3-0 win against local rivals Lincoln before picking up a 1-0 win away at table topping Ipswich before drawing the episode with a nil uh drawing the episode drawing the final game of the episode nil nil against struggling Forest Green which is a little bit disappointing. But today we have four games for you. Uh we will be simming the cup game against Wickham. I believe that's like the quarter final now of the Papa John's trophy. So we'll be playing the game against Exeter, simming the Wickham game before playing uh, games against Barnsley and Port Vale. All away games, I notice as well this month. If we have a look at the League One table, the board is not happy with how it sits currently, but with 15 games left of the season, we are six points adrift of Sheffield Wednesday in second. We do have a game in hand, we're also six points adrift of Barnsley. Those defeats, though, the most inside the top six. So, uh, not ideal. But we have scored a boatload of goals as well. But after beating Ipswich in the last episode, we thought that would draw us closer. We're seven points adrift of them. So, we really need to catch up to the teams ahead of us. Playing Barnsley today, if we can pick up a big result, that would be ideal. If we have a look at where Exeter are in the league towards the bottom. They're in the relegation zone. And Port Vale are bottom as well. So two teams in the relegation zone and one team ahead of us in the league. It could be a very interesting episode. If you are looking forward to this one, make sure you pop a like on there for me. Subscribe to the channel. And well, what better way to get this episode underway? So this is our extra lineup for this opening game. Then Jamal Blackman in goal. Five at the back for them. Caprice at right wing back. Diabate, Hartridge and Sweeney. In the back three with Sparks at left wing back. Harper and Kite in the middle. And Elkarnas. El I'm going to go with that behind Stansfield and Brown. This is how we line up. Riznik in goal. Thompson at right back. Edwards and Knight in the middle. Burrows at left back. Fuchs and Savile in the middle. Ajaboy out on the right. Bakari out on the left. And Garner sat in behind. Johnson, Clark, Harris. Of course, we've got a couple of new boys on the bench for us as well after uh, selling Kwame Poku we managed to snap up a free agent Qatari winger as Ghana is in here and that's a good start isn't it three minutes into the game and we managed to find ourselves 1-0 to the good my headset is really low for some reason I'm turning the volume knob on it but it's making no difference whatsoever I can barely hear the game hopefully you can hear the game sound okay I haven't changed the settings from normal, so hopefully you'll be able to hear what's going on, If even if I can't really. But that's a good start, isn't it? Um, but yeah, as I was saying, um, two new boys. Yeah, we signed the Qatari winger Ali Assad. Well, actually, he's more comfortable as a cam, but he can play anywhere across the midfield three. As uh, Clark Harris oh, tries to slip a ball into Bakari there. Oh, Fuchs with a good interception. That's a lovely ball. Garner. Has he got the space to find something here? He finds Fuchs. He finds Savile. Who has the strike. Test Jamal Blackman. Who can only push it behind for a corner. As Savile looks to whip one in. In the pouring rain. And Garner is there. And it's a great reaction save from Jamal Blackman. The blue highlights in his hair. It's a nice little touch. Clark Harris is there this time. Bakari gets that down nicely to Edwards. Find a good ball. To Savile, strikes on his right foot and forces the save. It was curling back inside, potentially inside that near uh, that far post, sorry. Blackman had to make a smart save in Exeter. 
really aren't covering themselves in much glory here. We're going to cut this one back. Ajaboy again forces the save out of Blackman being tested a lot early doors is Jamal Blackman much more than he would like to be ideally at this stage of the game I would say God, it. oh it's a tight slide tackle comes in he manages to hold on to that ball get out wide to Harrison Burrows oh, tries to force one down the line to Bukhari but it's well intercepted um, yeah so Ali Assad is uh, a new attacking option for us is most comfortable in cam but can play anywhere across that midfield three, as we said. Um, that's an interesting ball. Clark Harris. Oh, the angle against him. Oh, Blackman actually made the save. He's put it behind. Garner with the corner in, and that's easy for Blackman to collect. Um, Ali Assad, 69 rated as well. Was a free agent, so we picked him up. And we've also, I don't think I recorded this. Um, I think I did it off camera, sort of an impulse purchase. But I've actually brought in another Qatari free agent. They seem to be flooding the free agent market on FIFA 23. Um, but uh, the left back that we spoke about, that Hamam Ahmed, uh, 69 rated, only 23 years old. So I feel like he's probably like a long-term replacement for um, Nagy. And he can push Burrows. Having a couple of young um, options would be quite nice. Hopefully they can grow quite nicely as Bakari. Cuts inside, we find Clark Harris, who has the strike, and that is a top finish from a top striker at this level. He's picked the corner absolutely perfectly. Blackman, no chance of getting at that one. Bakari, good play to cut inside, and the space just opens up for him. And he cannot allow a striker of his quality and how well he is doing this season to have that sort of space in that sport of area, because he will do exactly that. It's 2-0. Here on the south coast in Devon, and uh, yeah, we are looking quite comfortable so far. Clark Harris has also made a run, though. Oh, the defender just about gets there. I was gonna sort of turn and shoot with Clark Harris, they're giving the ball away again here. Or is Clark Harris with a smart turn? Clark Harris, that is sensational play from JCH. He's grabbed a second, he's grabbed our third, it's 3-0 before half time. But that turn was absolutely superb. He sold Diabate, an absolute dream there. No way the defender was getting back to him. It's 3-0, it's three points, dare I say it, in our first game of this episode. And Exeter have been absolutely terrible. It's no surprise if they play like this more often than not to see them in the relegation zone struggling. There's a bit of space. Over for Ajaboy, we knock this one down, shall we, for Fuchs. Garner out of his feet, try and bend one. Oh, that's a finish. And Joseph Garner has made it four before half time. His second of the goal of the game. How this kid is still playing in this division beyond January is a joke. But uh, we received some transfer offers in January for a few players, but all just terrible offers. And it seems to be a theme this year. On FIFA, that's a finish. Blackman, no chance. Um, yeah, I don't know whether you've witnessed it in your career modes that you're playing, but teams just really... To be fair, even the directors, like they don't seem to think we can get much above value for some reason. Um, so, yeah, it's just I'm not going to sell my players on the cheap. It makes no sense. Ipswich drawing at home to Charlton, which is ideal for us. Sheffield Wednesday and Barnsley, I didn't see in that list there. But certainly a happy start to this episode. And well, hopefully this can be a continued trend by the time we reach the end of February in this video. But uh, actually, cuts it back now. There's enough. Oh, there's a bit of space there for Savile. He's going to find one now. George Savile. And Blackman just about manages to keep that one out. Scrambling for his life. Garner whips a corner in. Unfortunately, headed away. And again, they just give the ball away so cheaply. Bakari now got a bit of pace to get away from his man. Ajaboy is there. We'll try and use him if we can. Ajaboy and Garner is there to complete his hat trick. Why Blackman did not pounce on that, I have no idea. It was right next to him, but he's just watched it crawl across his toes, basically. And Garner is there to smash it into the back of the net. We have five, and uh, Exeter 
really are the architects of their own downfall. Absolutely terrible in this game. Blackman, terrible goalkeeper. For the performance that he put in, in the first half, I dare say without him, it could be close to double figures in this game. But uh, Riznik, I don't think, has had a single thing to do so far today. It's a good run down here, right here from Nathan Thompson on the overlap. Try and cut inside if we can. Nathan Thompson, oh, he's won a free kick, actually. I didn't think that was a free kick, to be fair. I thought it was a good tackle. But actually, we'll try and get some whip on this one if we can. George Savile, go for a couple of bars of power. Can he get this one in the back of the net? It's hit the wall. Oh, and Clark Harris can't quite convert that one on the second attempt. I haven't really taken that many free kicks on this year's game, it must be said. Um, so I'm not the best. I haven't really learned how to take them properly. Fuchs needs to come across it. He's played it in behind. It's Caprice. It's a good ball. It's oh, it's a good save is what it is. Divine. Is that Giovanni Brown? Um, either way, Riznik finally called into action with under 20 minutes to go in this game and he actually pulls off a very good save from the striker to keep our clean sheet for the time being. be nice to keep one for the entire game as our players just seem to watch. Hartridge goes by there. Giovanni Brown into the middle. Cuts it back to Sparks. Probably should have gone towards goal. Oh, that's a good, good play from Exeter. Moving it about nicely, but Edwards well, can't get it away. Power shot. It's a good save from Riznik. Burrows comes across. Can't quite get there. Elkanas into the middle. Oh, I thought Ward was going to get there. And he can't. And it's a good goal for Exeter. It is found. It has found the back of the net, I should say. Very good finish on the volley, Ward. It's being done too easily there for my liking. I thought Edwards might get the block on it. Riznik. Not really a lot he can do about that. It's right underneath him and hit with such power. So to be able to get down to that that quickly would have been impressive. They do have a consolation goal. And of course it's his first goal of the season. And there goes the full time whistle. A very good start to this episode as Garner collects his hat-trick ball. And well you couldn't ask for much more to start our road to the end of the season. 12 shots in that game. Exeter did have six and they had more of the ball. Ipswich draw, which is good. Derby lose as well, which is ideal below us. If we have a look at the table now, that's the Papa John's trophy. Looking at the League One table, then after that game, we pull closer to within three points of Sheffield Wednesday. Now play the same amount of games. Five points adrift of Ipswich. Barnsley still with a game in hand. We're now seven points clear. A Plymouth and Derby below us. So very much is, uh, you feel at this stage, a four-horse race for those two automatic spots. But now, a few days away, we have Wickham in the Papa John's Trophy. And then we will play that important game against Barnsley. Right then, a rotated team for this away trip in the Papa John's Trophy. Looks like Wickham are going with a full-strength side. We have got Bergstrom in goal. Joe Ward on the right. Thompson, the only survivor. It stays, uh, moves across to centre-back. Butler in as well with Ahmed getting his full debut. Well, actually, his proper debut in the team. Taylor and Norburn in the midfield. Assad is going to start on the right for us, getting his full debut. Thompson and Cam Nagy, left wing. And Ricky J. Jones up top. It'll be interesting to see how this one goes. Can we progress in this competition? We can indeed. Not too bothered about it, to be honest. But Ricky J. Jones... With the only goal of the game means we are in the semi-final of the Papa John's Trophy. And that, I just noticed the stats as well. One of the closer games that you will see. And Nagy has done his uh, ligament out for three months. That's pretty much his season done. Um, and you're doing great, Adjaboy. Don't worry. You're now a guaranteed starter. So uh, it's all looking good. Right, a couple more days. And then we have that all-important Barnsley game. We beat them, of course... First game of the season, 5-1. Can we have a repeat performance? We just won 5-1 as well. Oh, it's all coming up, Millhouse. Just had an offer from uh, FC Cluj. FC, CFC Cluj, I think, from Romania for Joe Tomlinson. He actually had a bid accepted for him from Turkey, but he's rejected a move. But he is on the transfer list. We now have four left-backs at the club, technically. 
um, and it's above value. So yeah, more than happy to accept that for Joe Tomlinson. Hopefully he can uh, he can find a move that suits him. Um, Thompson, uh, I'm glad you come and talk to me, uh, Ahmed. I'll come to the right decision, don't you worry. You'll get some game time, son. Don't you worry about that. Right, I'll go and do this press conference, boost morale that little bit more, and then we will play the game. So for this big game away at Oakwell, Barnsley, well, they've learned their lesson from last time. They're playing a back six. Jack Walton is in goal. John Williams at right wing back. McCarthy, Edwards and Anderson in the middle with Cadden at left wing back and Herbie Kane sitting in the midfield. Three, Benson and Phillips in the midfield with Devante Cole and Diego Collado up top for them. Some new names, of course, from when we were there. A couple of years ago, Jack Aitchison, Josh Martin, Kitching, Tedek. Luke Thomas is there. Good to see Bradley Collins is there as well. So plenty of familiar names, but we held no. there was no love loss when we met them in the first game of the season. We showed them that actually, at our new team, we certainly mean business. That wasn't a great start from, uh, from us. Joe Garner giving the ball away. And they're coming forward with purpose early doors of Barnsley. And Williams into the area and he's got away from it and Josh Knight actually does really well but good bright early start from the host as Bukhari gives that ball away and Riznik straight down his throat Bukhari's got a bit of space bursts into that knit. oh bursts into that channel and again they give the ball away hit Garner Bukhari He's in. Osman Bakari, he finds the back of the net. And we have that decisive opener in this game. The January signing at the beginning of the window. The Ghanaian winger. Really good run in behind. And it's a very accomplished finish as well. Jack Walton in the Barnsley goal. Having no chance really. He's keeping animations. FIFA 23, there you go. The travelling fans behind the goal. You could see them sent into absolute raptures. This was exactly the result we needed. And hopefully we can hold on to this. But Barnsley have looked good going forward. So I'm not going to count my chickens just yet. And our ability to hold on to a clean sheet isn't exactly the strongest. Colt, that's really good from Ronnie Edwards to shield him out there. Garner, Clark Harris. Again, the ball is on. And Clark Harris has turned and found Joseph Garner. And he's got defenders tracking him. But that doesn't stop him finding the back of the net. It's his fourth goal in two games for Joseph Garner. The transition to Cam actually is arguably better than those two playing up front together. But it's, I'm not too sure who number seven is. Who's that? Cadden, I think. The left wing back. Desperately trying to get at him. But I had to slow down to compose him. To uh, I didn't want to hit the shot on the run, basically. So I had to slow down and compose him. He almost gets back at him, Cadden. But thankfully for us, Ghana holds strong. 23rd goal of the League One season. And that is half time. Two quick fire goals before the half. And we have well and truly asserted our dominance in this tie. And well, just exactly what we wanted, as we said. A lovely ball to find Ghana. Oh, tries to play it off. I actually wanted that to go to Savile, but. Good harassment from Savile. That's don't don't include that for God's sake. Ajaboy into the area. Cuts this one back. Garner. Oh, it's a lovely finish. The keeper wasn't expecting that. And Garner's grabbed the third. He's grabbed his second of the game. Lovely play from Ajaboy. Just to have the vision. It's a little cut back there. And he's hit us so hard. Again, the keeper has just flopped. 3 0 it is. I promise. I've shown you a number of times. We are still on legendary and uh, who knows what it is. Maybe we've turned a corner since January. We've found a rhythm and Clark Harris is in here. He's going to send Anderson to the shops as he cut back. Oh, Anderson. Alert to it. Cult hero of the channel, I feel, Mads Anderson. Especially after, uh, was it last year's series where he became prominent? He didn't really have much. It was Helic, the two. Oh, it's almost a ball into Clark Harris there. <coughs> in the first series, it was very much Mikhail Helic who was the uh, the cult hero of the defence in FIFA 21. Anderson didn't really get much of a look in, but last season I feel like he did do, and that's a good header away. I can't really remember, to be honest. It feels like so long ago. 
and Clark Harris is sending players to the shops. He's enjoying himself. He hasn't actually got on the score sheet yet so far in this game, Clark Harris. But he turns provider now, and Garner has another hat trick. Two goal, two hat tricks in two games. He runs over to the Barnsley fans and is giving it absolute large. But despite them playing a back six, we are picking them apart. Walton, no chance with that one. But despite not being on the score sheet, Clark Harris does well to turn provider rather than try and go for goal himself. Garner in absolute scintillating form at the moment. It's 4 0 against a team who are level on uh, for automatic promotion spot. We have turned up to Barnsley and they do not know what has hit them. And as a boy yet, fantastic defending. That's not such a good pass, though, from Nathan Thompson. Knight has to come across. Cole, it's a good little pass back. Thompson is there. He gets the better of Cadden, does he? Just about. He's giving the ball away, really. The ref did play advantage. I would quite like the free kick. If it's possible, Benson with a strike and it's blocked. Oh, no, we've gone. Oh, oh, just about got away with that one, I think. It's a good bowl out, actually, here. And there's more runs being made. And they've kind of given up defensively, Barnsley. That back three is really being exposed now. And actually, if I was a bit quicker and a bit smarter, I could have played Clark Harris in there. Oh, Williams has done well. That's a good save from Riznik. Get there. Well done, Harrison Burrows. Assad onto the ball. Oh, trust not. He's got a ball through, actually, to Clark Harris. And he could have a goal of his own. John oh, he's missed. You'd bag, you'd back him to bag there. But Clark Harris just letting, well, letting others have their headlines today, let's say. But, uh, yeah, it's uncharacteristic. A miss from him. Didn't even get it on target. That is absolutely woeful. And Assad. Again, plays in Clark Harris. Oh, couldn't quite get the better of the defender on this occasion. A sad passing ability is looking quite good, you know. Looks like he can pick a pass. That's a lovely ball from Savile and Clark Harris. Can we get this one across? It's a sad. He has found a goal. And well, he's looked bright since coming on the 89th minute. Ali on the back of his shirt. There's a very good finish from the Qatari. I think that's what they're called, aren't they? Qatar, people from Qatar. Either way, we have made it five again. With five goals in two matches. Again, Clark Harris turning provider. That is a very good finish. Just make sure he puts it into the corner as much as humanly possible. Walton never getting there. And well, his performance, albeit in the 15 minutes he's been on, I think deserves a goal. He's looked very good. There goes the full-time whistle. This time it is a clean sheet. 5-0 it is. And well, that's 10 goals we've scored against Barnsley now this season. And uh, that is a real statement of intent towards the title. Two, 10 goals so far in this episode. Again, Barnsley having the better of the ball, but we were just clinical. Wick and win. Anyone else there? Not really. Didn't see any of the other Ipswich or Sheffield Wednesday. But a clear week now, thankfully, towards the Port Vale game, who are rock bottom. Can we make it five goals in each of the play games this episode? That would be absolutely mint. So Port Vale lined up like this for the final game of today's episode. Stevens is in goal. Back five, Worrell at right wing back. Forrester, Smith and Jones complete the back three with McCarran out on the left wing. Fonsuojo and Pet in the middle. Garrity in behind Adebeko and Ellis Harrison. We line up that this. Just one change for us. Jack Taylor has come into the midfield and has replaced George Savile. Just thought I'd give Taylor a game. He's grown up to 71. And we'll see how he does in midfield with Iando Fuchs. And uh, we're trying to wrestle the ball back here. And that's a good toe in again. It's that man, Iando Fuchs. Garner. He's found the ball to Clark Harris. Uh, pinpoint accuracy. Clark Harris. And he does get his goal this game. And it's taken us 15 minutes to break the deadlock at Vale Park. But that we do. And the bottom side trailing again. Yeah, Highlight on Iando Fuchs there. Absolutely. He's been so per superb in the past few games. And has so again today. But that pinpoint pass from Garner. Unlocking the door 
And, uh, well, Clark Harris has barged his way through it. We lead again in this game, and they've just given the ball away. Taylor, oh, tries to offload it to Garner, who'd started to make a run. Playing well, Port Vale here, and Odebeko is in. Thought he might be offside, actually. Had a man supporting him, he should have offloaded it early doors, but instead we've allowed them to get the shot away. And thankfully, Riznik is there to turn it round the post for us. But Port Vale, considering their bottom, have showed the most, I think, sort of against us than any team has so far in this episode. Bakari's broken away. Gonna need to cut this one back. Oh, lovely little back heel, Fuchs. Clark Harris. Oh, he's hit the bar. I should have played that back into Fuchs. He was in. He continued his run. He was in with all the space in the world. And it wasn't until I'd actually pressed the buttons to shoot that I saw it. But uh, he'll be disappointed. He's deserved a goal, really. But Clark Harris coming pretty close there from uh, the long-range effort. And Burroughs does very well to get that away. And we can counter hit <coughs> Clark Harris. Well, that centre-back's just not even trying. I don't even know who that is with the red boots. He's gone AWOL. That's 2-0. That was far too easy. You're telling me that the defending on Legendary is this bad. We may well need to move it up. That was shambolic. You can tell why they're bottom. Sixes and sevens. The manager must be shaking his head on the sideline. Thinking, what is going on with these lot? But we will take it. Absolutely, we will take it. 26 goals now in the league. I think I saw a graphic between games in the menus that said that Clark Harris has got 27. What a recovery tackle it is from Josh Knight. Um, so, yeah, to have your front two, who have now scored between them, scored over 50 goals in the division this season, is ridiculous. Ah, oh, I really wanted to play Burrows through there. Garner probably was the ball, but... Burrows had done so well, and he was carrying on his run, but then he just got blocked off. And, um, yeah, really disappointed. Would have been... God, has just made that player look silly. It is 2-0 halftime. It is very successful, this episode. Looks like we are going to get maximum points. Barnsley are drawing, which is good. Why does... Oh, okay. I was going to say, why does this menu never move? But it does. Oh, wow. Sheffield Wednesday are playing Ipswich. That's big. That is big. I mean, ideally, that would be a draw. If Sheffield Wednesday can come back, that would be quite nice. They give it away again here. Garner, little shift out of their feet. He's just been barged off the ball there. That is uh, get to the gym, son, if ever I've seen one. Leando Fuchs. Well, he, after we signed Savile and changed formation, he found himself out of the team. And he's actually battled his way back into the side. And Clark Harris... Oh, he's at the post. Oh, I stopped almost talking for a second then because I was just... I was so sure that that was going to find the back of the net. But he's rattled the woodwork. Um, yeah, Fuchs found himself out of the team. And um, we'll have a strike with him, you know. Oh, it's not a bad effort. Um, yeah, found himself out of the team. Actually, we bring him in for Jack Taylor. And ever since then, he's been absolutely superb. Really, really enjoying Yando Fuchs. And I'm even managing to say his name right as well, which is quite impressive for me. Especially when you're doing commentary. That's quite an important part of it. Burrows can't quite get the defender there. Edwards has to run back with himself. Oh, that's a great ball. And Harrison has found the back of the net. And it's a well-worked goal from Port Vale. But just over the hour, and they've cut the deficit in half. A very well-worked goal. He's found the pass neatly. Nice little gap there that opened up. And, uh, yeah, they're back in it, Port Vale. We cannot take this one for granted. I maybe should be concentrating a bit more. But then you don't want an episode without any character from me, do you? The last video... Oh, the last video I released was... Um, as I record this, the last video that was released was the one that's titled Podcast Episode. And... I called it that because I was like ed watching it editing. I was what obviously watching it back while I was editing it. Oh, they got it over here, you know. It's not a bad ball, Burrows. Oh, um, yeah. And I was just like, I just noticed that I was just rambling, and I but like a lot of it was relevant. 
I felt like, so that's why I kept it in. Oh, they're really they're starting to turn it up, you know. No, you Port Vale. Um, yeah, I felt like a lot of what I was saying was quite relevant, so um, that's why I kept it in. But it was just constant rambling. I was just like, I thought to myself, I was like, I, if this was me watching it, well, if this was me, I, I wouldn't want to watch that. Like, I just thought it was terrible from me. But I can't exactly go back and re-record. So, oh, come on. Get it out wide. That's a ball, that. Can I get ahead on it? Oh, not quite. Um, yeah, I was just watching it like, who would watch this, honestly? But I had to put it out, like I said, because I can't re-record. So, um, But I, actually, I say that. I think it's one of the best viewed videos in a while. So, if you have watched that video, thank you for that. I should stop looking at the camera and look at my screen. Chris Nick has turned it around. Port Vale have really turned it up a notch here. Maybe a ball. It, that's, that, is poor, that is poor, but Clark Harris has made something of that. And it's a ball in. Oh, it's a good save. I think it's Fuchs on the end of it, actually. Denied his goal. It's a good save from the feet of uh, Stevens. Barrows needs to stay with his man. He's gone all the way back. Taylor's a big, important tackle. And that will surely be that. And it is a hard-fought win there at the end. Really, they of all the teams, Port Vale have given us by far and away the biggest test in this episode. And that is shocking by everyone else's standards. Pretty even game as well, in honesty. Very even in possession, very even in shots. But we come away as victors. Barnsley pick up a win over McDonald's. Which is important. We have a message. Tomlinson has gone. That's more money in the bank. He will be going to play his football in Romania. I felt bad for Tomlinson, the kitty. It just hasn't quite worked out for him, unfortunately. But that is massive. And it leaves us second in the league. I'm guessing Ipswich beat Sheffield Wednesday. Because their gap is still five points but we are level on points with Barnsley, who have a game in hand. and are three points clear of Sheffield Wednesday. So as it stands, we sit second in the uh, in League One. Where's Barnsley's game in hand? Is it this month? It might be very far down the line. I haven't even been looking to see who we've got in these games, to be perfectly honest. I'll have a look at that shortly. But yeah, so uh, that's the league table. Still only three draws this season. But the other teams are starting to catch us in terms of defeats, which is always quite nice. 91 goals as well in 34 games. That is outrageous. Right, if we have a look at what is to come then in the next episode, we've got a couple of weeks off now, actually, which is... I did, wow, OK. What a start. So we've got Cheltenham, I assume, in the semi-final of the uh, Johnson's Paint Trophy. So we've got Sheffield Wednesday and Bolton, who are up there, and McDonald's. So I think, guys, a busy. I got that random game in May. That's like three weeks after our last game. Brilliant. Okay, so we will do four games next episode. Then we will play Sheffield Wednesday. We will sim the Cheltenham game, and then we will play Bolton and MK Dons. But what a start to next episode! Massive game in the context of the automatic promotion race. But guys, if you have enjoyed this episode, please pop a like on there for me. Subscribe to the channel. And I will see you in the next one.